Hello and welcome back. Let's make the best flaxseed gel you've ever tried. So let's just start with the wonderful benefits of flaxseed. Flax seeds are rich in vital nutrients such as vitamins B, E, iron, and magnesium. It conditions and nourishes your hair to grow stronger and healthier. And now on to hibiscus. Hibiscus flowers have been revered in Ayurveda for their abilities to boost hair growth. Their petals and leaves both are known to improve the growth of hair follicles. The soothing benefits of hibiscus leaves and flowers can provide lasting relief to a dry, itchy scalp. Hibiscus has astringent properties that reduce excess oil secretion, thus helps to alleviate dandruff and flakiness. Did I mention how much I love aloe vera and how beneficial it is to your hair? Aloe vera promotes healthy hair growth thanks to a special enzyme found in aloe leaves called proteolytic enzymes. Now these enzymes effectively break down dead skin cells on the scalp that may clog hair follicles. Aloe vera contains vitamins A, C, and E. All three of these vitamins contribute to cell turnover, which promote healthy cell growth and shiny hair. I'm also adding four different types of oil to this mix. The first oil is two tablespoons of jojoba oil. Jojoba oil protects the hair and is very close in resembling our natural sebum. It's a natural emollient and helps to soften the hair, which will reduce hair breakage. And here we've got the lovely shea nut oil. Shea nut oil is rich in vitamin E and fatty acids. It helps to soften and protect the hair as well. This deep rich oil is pumpkin seed. Pumpkin seed oil is miraculous as it contains nutrients such as zinc, magnesium, and omega-3 fatty acids. And finally, we've got avocado oil. Avocado oil is extremely nourishing for the hair. It's high in monosaturated fats and oleic acid. It makes it an extremely rich treatment for dry and brittle hair. And this was the main oil that I used to grow my hair waist length. So I'm preparing our hibiscus infused water and I'm doing it separately to preserve the nutrients. I added about three tablespoons of dried hibiscus petals and then I poured water over this and close the lid on the top and let it set for about three hours. So letting it set just helps to infuse all of the nutrients from the leaves into your water. And as you can see, the color becomes rather dark once it really gets infused. To prepare the flaxseed gel, I am pouring some water into a pot and I am bringing it to a boil. Once the water boils, I then add about one fourth cup of flax seeds. You want this to be raw, not roasted flax seeds. And you want to continuously stir so that the seeds do not stick to the pan. Once you see white streaks inside of the mix or inside of the gel, you want to turn the heat down. The longer the heat is on the flax seeds, the thicker the gel will become. Once I turn the heat down, I let it simmer for about 10 to 15 more minutes. Afterwards, I immediately start straining the gel into my strainer because it's going to be harder to strain if you just let it sit. The gel will naturally thicken up the longer it sits. So as you see, this is a really pretty thick gel for just allowing it to you know, come to a boil and then allowing it to then simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. And when I say let simmer, I brought the heat down to in between low and medium. So now I wait for that gel to cool and I'm adding tablespoons of aloe vera juice. This is straight from the leaf. I added about four tablespoons of aloe vera juice and then I'm just mixing it up. And remember to add the aloe vera gel once your gel 
has cooled, once your flaxseed gel has cooled. Now I'm adding each of those four oils that I showed previously. I'm adding the avocado oil, I'm adding the pumpkin seed oil, I'm adding the jojoba oil and the shea nut oil. So what I did was I just got my hands in there and just started breaking the gel apart. And now I'm also adding the our infused hibiscus uh, water into the gel and I'm just mixing that up now. You want to make sure that it's fully incorporated into the gel so I'm really getting my hands in there. You could use a glove and I just broke it apart the gel. So now what I'm doing is once everything is mixed up I'm just taking a funnel and putting this mix into a bottle that has a little nozzle top. So I'm just showing you how the gel looks. It's kind of like a orangey color, I suppose. That's because of the hibiscus. And if you do not use everything, you could always freeze it. So I put it in these little freezer trays. Keep in mind that any recipe that has water or contains water will start to grow bacteria over time. So it may be good to add a preservative. Now this particular mix, I did not add a preservative because I'm refrigerating this and this can be used in one use on my hair. But I definitely recommend using preservative if you do not wish to freeze this and if you're gonna be using this for over a long period of time. I'm just showing you here that I keep the majority of my hair up around 90% of the time and it's in braids. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Love you guys.